Did you know that diabetes affects more than 34 million Americans, and about one in five of them don't even know they have it? Diabetes is a condition where your body either doesn't produce enough insulin or doesn't use it properly, resulting in high blood sugar levels. This can cause serious complications, such as heart disease, kidney failure, nerve damage, and vision loss. The problem here is that diabetes is not always easy to spot. Some of the common symptoms, such as increased thirst, frequent urination, and fatigue, may be overlooked or attributed to other causes. And some people may not experience any symptoms at all until their blood sugar is dangerously high. But did you know there are some less obvious symptoms that could also indicate diabetes? These symptoms may seem unrelated to your blood sugar levels, but they are actually caused by very high or very low glucose in your bloodstream. In this video, we'll reveal 12 unusual symptoms of diabetes that no one is telling you about and what you can do to prevent or manage them. These symptoms may vary depending on the type and severity of diabetes, and they may not affect everyone in the same way. But if you notice any of these signs, don't ignore them. Talk to your doctor and get tested for diabetes as soon as possible. So, without further ado, let's get started. Number one, darker skin on the neck. One of the first signs of diabetes that you may notice is a change in your skin color, especially around your neck. You may develop dark patches or a velvety texture on your neck, armpits, or groin. This condition is called acanthosis nigricans and it's caused by high levels of insulin in your blood. Insulin stimulates the growth of skin cells, making your skin thicker and darker. This symptom is more common in people with type 2 diabetes and darker skin tones, but it can also occur in people with type 1 diabetes or prediabetes. Number two, recurrent infections. Another sign that your blood sugar may be out of control is having recurrent infections. Diabetes can weaken your immune system, making you more prone to getting sick. You may experience frequent infections of your skin, bladder, vagina, or yeast. These infections can be hard to treat and may recur often. High blood sugar can also impair your body's ability to heal wounds and fight inflammation. This can lead to complications such as foot ulcers, gum disease, or kidney damage. To prevent infections, you should keep your blood sugar levels in check practice good hygiene, and see your doctor if you have any signs of infection. Number three, vision changes. If you suddenly have trouble seeing clearly, it could be a sign of diabetes. High blood sugar can affect your eyes in several ways. It can cause fluid to leak into your lenses, making them swell and change shape. This can blur your vision and make it hard to focus on objects. It can also damage the blood vessels in your retina, the part of your eye that senses light. This can lead to a condition called diabetic retinopathy, which can cause vision loss if left untreated. So to protect your eyes, you should monitor your blood sugar levels, get regular eye exams, and wear glasses or contacts if needed. Number four, lightheadedness. Feeling dizzy or lightheaded can be a symptom of both high and low blood sugar. When your blood sugar is too high, you may urinate more often which can cause dehydration. Dehydration can affect your brain function, making you feel confused, weak, or faint. When your blood sugar is too low, your brain may not get enough glucose, which is its main source of energy. This can also make you feel dizzy, shaky, or sweaty. To avoid lightheadedness, you should drink plenty of water, eat balanced meals, and check your blood sugar regularly. Before we continue, if you have been enjoying the video so far, Hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon so you don't miss more videos like this. Number five, weight loss. Losing weight without trying may seem like a good thing, but it could also be a sign of diabetes. Weight loss can occur in both type one and type two diabetes, but for different reasons. In type one diabetes, your body doesn't produce enough insulin to use glucose for energy, so it burns fat and muscle instead. This can cause rapid and dramatic weight loss, especially in children and young adults, and they may lose up to 10% of their body weight in a few months. In type 2 diabetes, your body doesn't use insulin properly, so glucose builds up in your blood instead of being used by your cells. 
This can make you feel hungry and eat more, but also make you lose weight, as your body loses calories through excess urination. To maintain a healthy weight, you should eat a balanced diet, exercise regularly, and take your medication as prescribed. Number 6. Sweet-smelling breath. If your breath smells fruity or sweet, it could be a sign of a serious complication of diabetes called diabetic ketoacidosis. Diabetic ketoacidosis occurs when your body doesn't have enough insulin to use glucose for energy and instead breaks down fat for fuel. This produces ketones, which are acidic substances that build up in your blood and urine. Ketones can make your breath smell sweet, but they can also cause nausea, vomiting, abdominal pain, confusion, and coma. Diabetic ketoacidosis is a medical emergency that requires immediate treatment. If you have diabetes, you should check your blood sugar and ketone levels regularly and seek medical attention if you have any signs of diabetic ketoacidosis. Number 7. Tingling or numbness in your hands or feet. Diabetes can also cause nerve damage or diabetic neuropathy, which can affect your sensation and movement in your extremities. High blood sugar can damage the nerves that carry signals from your brain to your hands and feet, causing tingling, burning, numbness, or pain. This can make it difficult to feel temperature, touch, or pressure, and increase your risk of injury or infection. If you have these symptoms, you should take good care of your feet and hands and check them for any cuts, blisters, or sores. You should also wear comfortable shoes and socks and avoid walking barefoot. You should also talk to your doctor about medications or therapies that can help relieve nerve pain. Number eight, mood swings. Diabetes can also affect your mood and mental health, making you feel more irritable, anxious, or depressed. This is because high blood sugar can affect your brain function, making you feel confused, forgetful, or restless. Low blood sugar can cause nervousness, shakiness, or sweating. Diabetes can also cause stress, as you have to cope with the challenges of managing your condition, such as monitoring your blood sugar, taking your medications, following your diet, and dealing with complications. If you have these symptoms, you should try practicing relaxation techniques, such as meditation, yoga, or breathing exercises, which can help you calm your mind and body. You should also talk to your doctor or a mental health professional if you have any signs of depression such as feeling sad, hopeless, or suicidal. Number nine, itchy skin. Diabetes can also cause dry and itchy skin, especially on your legs, feet, elbows, and hands. High blood sugar can dehydrate your skin, making it lose moisture and elasticity. It can also affect your blood circulation, which can reduce the amount of oxygen and nutrients that reach your skin. This can make your skin prone to cracking, peeling, or infection. To manage this symptom, you should moisturize your skin daily and avoid hot showers or baths, which can dry out your skin. You should also drink plenty of water and avoid scratching your skin, which can worsen the irritation. You should also see your doctor if you have any signs of skin infection, such as redness, swelling, or pus. Number 10. Slow healing. Another symptom of diabetes that you may notice is that your wounds take longer to heal than usual. High blood sugar can impair your body's ability to heal wounds, such as cuts, scrapes, or burns. It can also increase your risk of infection, which can delay the healing process and cause complications. If you have diabetes, you should clean and cover your wounds as soon as possible and change your dressing regularly. You should also see your doctor if your wound doesn't heal within a few weeks or if you have any signs of infection, such as fever, pain, or pus. Number 11. Nausea. Feeling nauseous can be a symptom of both high and low blood sugar. When your blood sugar is too high, your body may produce ketones, which can make you feel sick to your stomach. When your blood sugar is too low, your body may not have enough glucose to function properly which can also make you feel nauseous. Nausea can also be a side effect of some diabetes medications, such as metformin or insulin. To avoid nausea, you should monitor your blood sugar levels, eat small and frequent meals, and talk to your doctor about adjusting your medication if needed. Number 12. 
hearing loss. Diabetes can also affect your hearing, making it harder to hear sounds or understand speech. High blood sugar can damage the nerves and blood vessels in your ears, reducing the blood flow and oxygen to your cochlea, the part of your ear that converts sound waves into nerve signals. This can cause a sensory neural hearing loss, which is permanent and irreversible. If you have diabetes, you should get your hearing tested regularly and wear hearing aids if needed. You should also protect your ears from loud noises, such as music, machinery, or fireworks, which can worsen hearing loss. So, these were the 12 unusual symptoms of diabetes that you should be aware of. Remember, diabetes is a serious condition that can affect your whole body, not just your blood sugar. If you have any of these symptoms, don't ignore them. Talk to your doctor and get tested for diabetes as soon as possible. The sooner you diagnose and treat diabetes, the better you can prevent or delay the complications and improve your quality of life. Now, we want to hear from you. Did you have some of these symptoms before? Was it actually diabetes? Share with us your experiences and opinions in the comments below. We love to hear them. Thanks for watching.